Gamers, what was the first game you ever played? Spiro at age 4. It was in English because I didn't know how to set it in German. And I run around and played how I wanted to and never left the first world. Still love it to this day. Pajama Sam and Freddy the Fish. I had to search the entire comment section for Pajama Sam. Super Mario World on the SNES. Yes. This was mine. On a TV so old that it had a contrast color dial on the front that you could use to make the colors all funky purple orange green blue. Whatever you chose. IDKY but that made the game more fun for me because I could change all the colors and play a different looking game. These cheap browser flash games. Pong. Hello fellow old person. Me too. Late 70s I think. Edit. I was the Commodore kid. Gorf and Cosmic Cruncher. Pokemon Blue. Pokemon Crystal and the story is funny. My old dentist when I was 5 had a prize wheel you could spin after your appointment. Usually it was some cheap toy from the dollar store. I actually managed to get the grand prize which was a Game Boy Advance with a game. I was 5 so I had no idea what to pick so he just said pick a color and that's how I ended up with Pokemon Crystal LOL. Still one of my favorite games ever. Abe's Odyssey. Wasn't that game really hard? It also had some latency. Abe would always take a second to get moving. Sonic 1. The day my father got home with a Mega Drive Genesis. Still have them, both the game and the console. Edit. Oh shit. Just remember that I played Enduro at my cousin's house before that, I have no recollection. But I know it happened. I'm playing Sonic on my phone RN. It's harder than I remember. I'm stuck on level 3 act 3. But then again. I don't have a whole day to play like I used to. The Lion King on Sega Mega Drive Genesis. I was about 6 years old. Edit. To everyone getting nostalgic in the comments. SNES Mega Drive Lion King and Aladdin Double Pack are up for sale on the Nintendo Switch store. Or you can emulate it. Close bracket. Double edit. For the 10 plus people so far who have told me that the Aladdin Mega Drive SNES versions are entirely different games, you're right. And I know. But the Switch package does carry both the Mega Drive and SNES versions of the Lion King. With all of its absurdly small differences, which is the better game anyway. Fight me. Super Mario Brothers. My grandpa brought an NES home from a yard sale. That year I got an N64 and Banjo-Kazooie. N64 is still my all-time favorite system. Paint on Windows 95. Drawing random lines and filling it with different colors. Best shit ever. Frogger. The 3D one on PlayStation was my first game. Went back to it a little while ago and it's still so goddamn frustrating. Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. Same here. There's a home video of me in a diaper getting up. Waddling over to the TV. Turning the console on. Grabbing the controller. Going back. And sitting down to play. R to be 19 again. Must have been the original Crash Bandicoot game on my cousin's PlayStation. The hours my cousins and I sunk into finishing that game 100% is why my kids will have limited hours of playtime. Age of Empire 2 Vanilla with my dad. I think it was in 1999. At the time. I refused to kill the sheeps and I would cry if it happened by accident. Same. One of my oldest memories is my older sister teaching me to play Age of Empires II at age 4. I learned left from right from the tutorial on how to select units and give orders. Heretic. An old PC game similar to Doom. It was released around the same time. My dad loved playing it so I got hooked. It scared the crap out of me at first then I got used to it. Minicraft when I was 5. Since I made this post. I also have to share my first game. And that's Legend of Zelda. A link to the past on SNES. Close bracket. Mario Duck Hunt Track Meet Combo. Commander Keen. Same here. I also just discovered that you can buy a bunch of Commander Keen games on Steam for like $5. Q. 
Qbert. My mom was so happy when we got Qbert for the NES. Apparently she played the arcade version like a decade prior. Between that game and Tetris. She occasionally ground us for something we probably deserved. So she could steal the NES and hook it up in her bedroom. Day of the Tentacle. I played that originally back in the early 90s and loved it. The I went through it with my sons again last year. And they loved it just as much. It was a great experience. Having access to internet spoilers is a total game changer though. It's so hard to force yourself to stay away from walkthroughs. An education game from around 1990 where you had to make a damn by spelling words. I love Jumpstart for kids and its sequels and Math Blaster and Type 2 Learn and such. I don't even know what it's called. It was on a 3. 5 inch floppy disk and you basically race this F1 car around a track only being able to turn left or right. This was probably around 1998. I was 7. Lego Indiana Jones for PS2. The original roller coaster tycoon. Pokemon Red Edition. Asteroids. I'm old. Asteroids is cool because vector graphics. The first Ratchet and Clank on the PS2. Black and White, a moral immoral god simulator. Space Invaders at Pizza Hut. Putt Putt Goes to the Moon. Ah the nostalgia. Such an amazing series of games for children. Mine was Putt Putt Save the Zoo. My first grade teacher had a computer that she let kids take turns on. Great times. Super Mario 64. Plants vs Zombies. Kirby Superstar Ultra. Exitabike. Oregon Trail. I figured this would be near the top. But that probably shows how old I am. Snake on Nokia Tetris on Game Boy I don't remember which. Tomb Raider on PS1. Pretty sure it was the first Diablo PC game. Can't remember my first Game Boy game. Probably Tetris was bundled with it. Prince of Persia. The Sands of Time. Wii Sports. Christmas Day 2008. Halo 3. GTA. Vice City. 3. Prince of Persia, DOS. I scrolled so far down for this. Stupid spear pits were pretty hard for kid me. Halo CE. Probably peekaboo. At a couple of days old. Oh. Video game? Could have been Pong or Space Invaders or Missile Command. Grew up in the 70s. And visited arcades long before we had a pre-Atari home console. A shooting game I wrote myself. In those days, 1980-81, there were only programmable game computers available. Like the Commodore 64, Atari, or in my case the Sinclair ZX Spectrum 48. We shared our programs on cassette tapes and improved each other's stuff. My shooting game wasn't very good, but had some local distribution. This is cool. My first computer of any kind was an Atari. I got it second hand with a ton of floppy disks. The guy before me provided a huge manual showing how to code. But as I was about 7 it was a bit beyond me. However. While going through each disk to see what was on offer. I found a short animation he had coded. It was a smurf f king smurf at doggy style. D it had a tune that gradually sped up along with the smurf's thrusts. The disk got confiscated pre eaty quick. Jazz Rabbits I think it was called. A 2D platform game from early 2000s. Just for Atari. Pokemon Ruby. My brother gave it to me as a birthday gift when I was 7. Opened the door to the world of gaming for me. The original Dragon Warrior. Got a tattoo of Dragon Lord on my arm. Little Big Planet. This gem will always be close to my heart. Red Baron. Some DOS game my dad introduced me to when I was like 3 years old. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I believe I was about 5. So glad they remade that masterpiece. Duck Hunt probably. 
my uncle had a NES. Duck hunt probably would have been easier for me when I was 3 or 4. Telepong in 1976. I was 10 and it was awesome. Close bracket. Feeding frenzy. Jack and Daxter at age 5. Best game out there friends. Edit. Yeah did it. You caught 200 pounds of fish. I started playing games really young. So I don't really remember the exact game. But probably Commander Keen. King's Quest or Lemmings. I do remember learning basic reading really young from King's Quest and games like that as you had to read type everything. I was fumbling around DOS at 3 years old when my parents weren't looking. I just watched my dad and memorize what he typed to navigate to the game I wanted. Counter Strike Source when I was 4. My dad let me play every day until mom came home from work. Super Mario RPG. Legend of the Seven Stars. I still play this game every now and then. One of those game and watch handheld consoles. There were a few but I couldn't remember which one I played exactly. Beachhead on Commodore 64. Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. One of if not the first game I ever played. I love it to bits. I hope they remake it. Some Hot Wheels game on a Commodore 64 back when I was 8 or something like that. About 30 years ago. I'm getting old. Oh wow. I can't remember that. I remember being into coin-op games at a Chuck E. Cheese. Perhaps the coin-op version of Pitfall. Perhaps Gbert. Perhaps Pac-Man. First home system game I played was a side-scrolling shooter named Parsec for the Texas Instrument T128. We used a few tape-based games on there I think as well although Parsec had a cartridge. Those games set me up for a world of entertainment. It probably also stunted my social life. But hey. The good with the bad. Attack of the Mutant Camels on the C64. I'm pretty sure the majority of people here started with Mario. Donkey Kong Country. Doom when I was 4 in DOS mode Windows 95. I actually finished it before I hit 5. I then got into Counter Strike and Starcraft. When I got a bit older. So. When I was 3. My dad gave my grandpa money and told him to go get me a Sega Genesis for my birthday. My dad came home to see me. My mom. And grandpa sitting in front of the TV playing Super Mario 3. I was a natural and was really loving it. Well. My dad kind of let my grandpa have it in the next room. I told you Hector. Sega Genesis. Not a Nintendo. So. After I went to bed. My dad packed it up. Returned it. And in the morning instead of Mario there was Sonic the Hedgehog. I remember being heartbroken. But my dad explained to me it was better. I understand his logic. But that memory has stuck with me for 28 years now. Alex Kidd. Though I couldn't remember the name for the longest time since I was so little when I played it and I was pretty upset about it. Until I found it out by accident. I Sage 3's game was the first one I spent 3 consecutive hours on. And I completed it in 1-2 goes. Then Wally's game. Hello Kitty Roller Rescue and then TF2 actually got me into gaming for PC. And Mario Bros Wii. The Galaxy is and we fit into Nintendo consoles. Call of Duty. Back when that was the whole title of the game. Christmas of 1986. My sister got an LJN video art for Christmas. It was a piece of shti and the cartridges didn't work. Later that day. We went to my cousin's house. And they had just gotten a Nintendo. I briefly got a chance to play Super Mario Brothers. And was completely hooked. They also had ghosts and goblins. But I didn't get a chance to play that one that day. We went home and my dad decided we would return the LJN video art and get a Nintendo. Changing my life forever. Leisure Suit Larry. Where you had to answer skill testing questions so the game knew just how much or little nudity to display. Trying to get the X rated version to play as a kid was impossible. But honestly it was probably Pong or Tetris. 
Frogger on some machine my dad would plug into the telly in the early 90s. Tekken 3 I think. I distinctly remember my dad spamming Hwarang's kicks at me. That was my first fighting game. Just picked up Tekken 7 out of nostalgia last week and it's crazy coming back the series after so long I. Tough to remember which one was the first exactly. I started playing on the C64 and mostly remember playing games like Boulder Dash. Bubble Bubble. Pit Stop. Turrican. Winter Summer California Games. Impossible Mission. Great Gianna Sisters. When I was about 3. My mom played Lego Star Wars with me together and it really fun. I even wanted to do it again on my own a bit later. So I tried to take the disc out of the case and broke the disc in half. I think it was Math Blaster. Yes I majored in engineering. No I was not good at it. Wizard 101. Still play with my sister 11 years later. Lego Islands. I don't think 5 year old me knew what I was doing. Sly 2. Band of Thieves. Animal Crossing on the GammaCube. Lego Star Wars the original trilogy on the PS2. It was either one of the Need for Speed PS2 games. Or BGDA on the same console. Resident Evil 2 when I was 9 years old. Still my favorite game. Metal Gear Solid. And Siphon Filter. I don't remember which one was the first. But those were the two games I played first. Sesame Street. Elmo's Letter Adventure when I was like 2 or 3. Commander Keen 4. When I saw the trailer for that mobile remake. My heart instantly sunk. In 1973 when I was in the military and in Spain the bowling alley had a sit down console of Pong. Never looked back. Manic Miner. Bit hit and miss on loading for half an hour but the anticipation was amazing. If we're talking video games. I don't remember which one exactly was first but it must have been something on my dad's Amstrad so. Probably Arkanoid or Paperboy, or two. I played Prince of Persia 2 but doubt it was the first. If we're talking games in general. Probably Hide and Seek Lomeo. The first version of Prince of Persia. I still remember how mortified I was left when these metal gnawing scissor like traps first cut my poor prince in half. Awesome. Also. My uncle used to play with me and was wearing a very commercial aftershave at the time which is still out there. So. Up to this day. If I walk by someone who is wearing what smells like the same aftershave. I get the chills. Kingdom Rush. I used to play it with my mom and I'm starting to play it again.